Hey, and welcome back to the e-learning video series on BSF BioWaste Processing. This module in the BSF Rearing chapter will focus on the X stage. After watching this module, you'll be able to describe the process parameters of this stage. You can apply dismantling a loft cage and removing the egg media. And you'll be able to measure the egg mass removed from the egg media and execute preparing the egg holders with color coding and replacing these egg holders in the hatchling shower. You'll also be able to recognize the need for certain data and apply the procedures for collecting this data. The egg stage starts when eggs are deposited in the egg media. We use egg media made out of sheets of wood with push pins in between to create a small gap. In order to make the flies lay eggs where we want them to lay, we, we are adding a so-called attractant in the, in the loft cage. This attractant is made out of a smelly combination of ingredients. Uh, this mixture kind of resembles a natural uh, potential food substrate for the black soldier fly, uh, so that the flies will come uh, into the vicinity of this substrate and deposit their eggs because they're thinking that their offspring has the best chances of uh, survival to, to adulthood. Um, so when making ma making this, we, we therefore assure that the flies will lay eggs in the egg media that were placed on top of the attractant. The benefit of having all the eggs together in the egg media uh, is ma mainly uh, so that they can be easily removed from the loft cage in a, in a concentrated way. And because the eggs are concentrated, they can be then scraped off the egg media and put together in the egg holders. We use the egg holders so that the eggs uh, are, are placed inside the mesh of the, uh, of the egg holders and have the least amount of surface area contact with the holder. And this is because uh, we observe that the young larvae are rather, rather disoriented when they hatch from their eggs and they do not notice the direction that they have to go to find the feed substrate. So, so therefore, we ensure that, that, that if they are in this uh, tea strainer, as soon as they hatch, they fall directly down into the feed substrate where they can start feeding. We reduce thereby the potential number of larvae wandering off and potentially dying. So after we remove uh, the eggs from the, uh, from the loft cage in the, uh, in the eggs media, they will be scraped off and be prepared to be placed in the egg holders, as we mentioned before. So one of the, um, uh, like, like I said, one of the main reasons for doing this is to, is to accurately identify the total number of eggs that we, uh, that we harvest. So by knowing the weight of one egg, uh, we then divide the total weight of all eggs by the weight of one egg, and we know the number of eggs. And by, the, by comparing that to the number of, of flies, we will then know the, the amount of eggs per flies. So we find that around 250 eggs are laid per fly, uh, which means about 500 eggs per female, assuming that about half of the flies are, are female. Uh, the eggs that are placed in the egg holders uh, and hung over the nursery boxes hatch about four days after the, after the eggs have been laid in the egg media. So normally uh, we observe that uh, hatchlings uh, hatch about two to three days after hanging the eggs over the nursery crates. The neonates will then hatch from the eggs and will directly start feeding because they fall down into the substrate. And in each tea, tea, tea infuser, we will put about 40 grams of egg mass and the tea, infuser have a, the tea infusers have a dimension of 4.5 centimeters. So you can make an estimate, you can make an idea about the volume that the egg mass takes. And the expected mass of the eggs that we use to calculate the number of eggs with is around 0.0291 milligram for one egg. So before we go into the operational video, here again, an overview of the required materials for, for the operation of the egg stage. So first we, we remove the, the egg media from the, um, from the loft cage and we, we use this egg scraping and moving tool to remove the eggs and place them into a cup so that they can be weighed. For weighing the eggs, we use a precision balance with a max weight of 2 kilograms and accuracy of 0.01 grams. And after that, the eggs are placed in the egg holder, which, as I mentioned, is, in the, is a tea strainer, which looks a little bit like the one on the, on the picture. Um, then we uh, prepare a nursery crate using a, a 60 by 40 by 10 centimeter box, adding water, dry nursery feed and cocoa peat in there. And we, we place that into a hatchling shower. So the rack that you see there uh, is, uh, is used to place the crates in and to hang over it the egg holders filled with the eggs. Now, color paper clips are then used to identify the 
the the time that the egg holder has been placed over the nursery crates uh, so that later we can remove the egg holders once once they have been hung over the nursery crates for a while so um, we start the operation by remove the water container and the shade box we can then remove the egg media and then we remove the uh, old attraction container we sweep out all the dead flies from the loft cage cover we disconnect the hanger with the loft cage from the loft cage table. We remove the hanger and turn the loft cage inside out to remove the last flies that are still in the loft cage. And we place the loft cage into a washing machine, add detergent and wash it on a 30 degree program. Um, we clean the loft cage table surface where the old loft cage was placed. We spray it with a 95% alcohol solution to ensure that, it, that it's clean. And we spread this alcohol solution out with, uh, with a cloth and, and let it dry. Uh, from the hatching shower frame, we remove all the egg media holders with the color code clips of the current weekdays. So egg media holders are, are marked with a string or um, a paper clip that has a specific color according to the day that they were put on the hatchling shower. Now, follow, following, you can take uh, 10 eggies uh, that you remove from the dismantled loft cage and carefully open the wooden sheet uh, of the first egg media by removing the two rubber bands on each end. Use the tweezers to carefully scrape off the eggs on both sides of each of the five sheets, making up one of the egg media. You collect the eggs in a small bowl and repeat the process for the nine other egg media uh, and for potentially the other egg media from the loft cages. Make sure that you, uh, that you separate, if you have multiple loft cages that you dismantle on one day, make sure that you separate between the loft cages so you can still measure the amount of eggs that you have collected uh, per loft cage. You weigh the total collected egg mass from all eggs removed from one loft cage and divide the egg mass off, uh, up in portions of 40 grams. You can repeat this process ensuring that the amount of egg mass is max 40, kilogra 40 grams per holder and that the amount added to each holder is the same. Following you can prepare the hatchling container. Each hatchling container replaces the previously set up hatchling container in the shower rack. For each hatchling container you produce a 3 kilogram mixture which, is, which in our case is a combination of 30% dry chicken feed and 70% water. You have to make sure that you stir the mixture until it become a hom homogeneous substrate and you don't have any uh, clumps of chicken feed in there anymore. Fill the hatchling container each with the 3 kilogram mixture and cover the hatchling container with dry, with, with dry and, and sieved cocoa peat or, or for example wheat bran to avoid the loss of moisture from the, um, from, from the substrate. You add a label to each hatchling container which indicates the date of the current day so that you know when you have set up this hatchling container. In the now empty topmost shelf you can add the, the new hatchling containers. So in explaining you the operations in the previous video, we have covered three uh, operational steps in the, um, in the checklist that we presented to you in the introduction. And we want to go over this so you can recognize the operation, the X stage operation in the, in the three steps of the checklist. So the first step in the checklist identified is the shower maintenance. And there we discussed in the operational video that you have to remove uh, and clean the, the, the five day old tea strainers. Um, at the same time, you can also still add uh, water to the oldest nursery box and you can add some extra uh, cocoa peat uh, in case it's a bit too, too moist. We then, we then explained about removing the uh, old loft cage. So we remove the eggies, remove the dead flies and the, uh, for the new attractant. We can clean the containers and we wash the cage on a cotton quick program. And lastly, we discussed how to process the eggs. We started by scraping off the eggs from the wooden eggies, we weighing the egg mass, adding the egg mass in the tea strainers, hanging the tea strainers on the hatchling shower and cleaning down the wooden eggies. As you can see in the checklist, there is one uh, data collection point here for the performance control sheet. And this then relates to the log sheet that we explained to you also in the introduction of this, uh, of this chapter. So for this stage, we collect data on the amount of eggs in grams harvested from each loft cage. You see the part of the log sheet that we presented in the introduction in front of you again. 
This part focuses on collecting data on the on the on the X stage. So first of all, it's important to fill in the data of the loft cage, the date of the loft cage, so the, so you can later identify where the X came from. And then after that, you can fill in the total egg mass of X that you weighed and collected then from that loft cage. After removing them from from the egg media, of course, that you took from that loft cage. So we've now almost come to the end of this of this module on the on the X stage and uh, it's time for for some quick uh, refreshing and 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 some in a in a Q&A session. So the first question here is is do you remember after how many days the eggs hatched? They hatched after around 4 days. And for the second question, why are eggs then scraped off the egg media? This is to, to be able to measure the egg mass accurately. We have come to the end of this module on the egg stage. We saw that the egg stage in the life cycle of the BSF comes before the hatchling stage and after the fly stage. In this um, module, the egg media were removed from the loft cage, eggs were transferred into egg holders, and the egg holders were placed in the hatchling shower. And we saw that data on the amount of eggs laid per fly was collected in order to support the performance indicator points. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF bio-waste processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. Both of these materials were part of the forward project by EOAC in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.